...held up other players that were his in an obvious violation of not only precedent but also written accord. Are you talking about Kent? Ah, yes, Kent, Mr. Paul said with relish. I do say that it is just wonderful you got the god of shadows to agree to being called Kent. A generation of mortals will know no fear from the great and mighty god Kent. Simply splendid. I imagine that little bit of tomfoolery gained you quite a bit of look from the rest of us involved. Involved in what? Ah, again, not a salient question for you, my dear boy. Your questions should focus on what will happen to you, right? I guess, but I imagine you expected to wake up in a ball of clay, reformed as... He glanced down at his papers. Clyde Hatchet, with two T's. Your name is spelled incorrectly? Interesting. It's, I mean, no matter, whatever you presumed, I doubt it was anywhere near meeting me in this, well, he gestured at the space around us, void. Do I have options? A choice? But of course, dear boy, you and your actions were examined quite closely, and it was found that, while you certainly bent and pushed the rules, at no point did you actually break any of them. Nor, I argued, did you even understand what rules you might have been in the process of breaking. So I can just go back? Sadly, no, you have been, well, there have been irregularities, and it would seem there are but three options in this regard. First, I believe it might be possible to find a timeline wherein I could reinsert you with a few little provisions, so you might resume life as Ben Zukowski, part-time pizza boy. I could go back to my old life? As, um, ah, right, before you continue on that train of thought, no, you would not go back as you are now, nor would you be going back as who you were exactly, as you would not exactly be returning to where you left, or when you left. Naturally, I would try to get you back to a timeline as similar to the one you left as possible, but there is no way to promise anything close to exact, which could make life confusing at best or untenable at worst. Can't imagine how it would have been worse, I muttered. I would counter, then, that you have not been doing much imagining. Now, I hesitate to say anything to sway your opinion on this, but it would take considerable power and time to make option one happen. So if you were to, say, choose against option one, it would do quite a bit toward placing you in the Mr. Paul Owes You a Favor Club, which is a highly selective organization with ample benefits. Onward. It would seem option two is not possible, so we move right on to, wait, why is option two not possible? Impossible is not exactly the right term, more like not possible. I could do it, but there are why include it then. Because it is on the form, he said, holding up a piece of paper for the briefest of seconds. Just enough time for me to see that there were, in fact, several things typed on the paper, none of which I could read. If it is on the form, I am bound to let you know. Rules are rules for a reason. You mind just humoring me with option two? Fine. Option two is returning you to Valdrani just as you left. Seriously? Why is that not an option? Because you specifically enacted a spell that ensures you cannot return as you left, and your old form was one which does not conform to the rules. Now, option three is a brand new you, at least a brand new you where you return to Valdrani, option three. Are you sure you would not like me to finish? Um, let's see. I have three options, but I can't actually take option two, which leaves me with going back to being Ben Zukowski in a life of suck, or option three where I'm not going back to a life of suck. It's not like there's much to mull over. I see. Well, option three, then. He ticked a box on the paper. There are a few, well, issues we have yet to address. Seems like there always are. Yes, there are always issues to address. In this regard, I have to point out that you may not return to the world as you left it. Figured. Astute. So what can I return as? This begins the difficult portion of our little interchange, because you have no patron at present. What about Kent? Kent has had his patronage privileges revoked for the remainder of this round.